Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here. I am actually in an airplane. I'm on an international flight. You're going to be hearing more uh, from me. I'm going to the Mediterranean. Uh, I'm going to explore food. So um, I'm going to be sharing with you over the next couple of days some of my food adventures and hopefully, a little bit of luck, I'll be doing some cooking and I'll show you some healthy ingredients that I get to cook in the Mediterranean. Remember, I love to eat Mediterranean style, which is the entire spectrum between Mediterranean and Asian uh, ingredients and cuisines. All right, I wanted to show you something practical of how I, what I do when I tra travel. So right now, I'm sitting uh, in an airplane and I just got served my meals. So, what am I actually gonna be eating and what is actually helping? I'm open a window, put a castle. All right, I'm back. Um, some dietary fiber, got some feta cheese, um, not very much. So this is gonna be my um, salad. Let's see, I've got a little, looks like a extra virgin olive oil with some balsamic vinegar. It's gonna be my dressing. All right, now what's an extra virgin olive oil? It's got hydroxytyrosol. Hydroxytyrosol activates your metabolism, good for stem cells. And that brown stuff on the bottom there, that's balsamic vinegar. Now, vinegar actually has acetic acid, and acetic acid um, activates uh, your metabolism, my metabolism, uh, by slowing down the expansion of fat cells. So it makes it difficult for fat to actually um, uh, grow up larger. Okay, now let's see what else do I have here. Now this, I just, this is just the meal that came. Garlic spinach, all right, spinach is a great source of um, dietary nitrates. Spinach grows close to the soil, and it's actually gonna have um, the ability, if I chew it well enough, this is actually, look, it's airplane food, you can't ask for too much, but it actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's got garlic, uh, garlic's got um, diallyl sulfide, great for your metabolism, fights down for body fat, but the spinach actually, if I chew it the right way, um, and let my tongue microbiome, gut health starts in the mouth, um, uh, work on the nitric, natural nitric oxide uh, from spinach, the nitrates in the soil. Uh, I'll swallow it and it'll get absorbed in my bloodstream as nitric oxide, which will help me lower my blood pressure um, and also help to regenerate my blood vessels. Um, here's a chicken thigh, I think it is. Now, if you, had, if you eat meat and you eat chicken, chicken thigh is actually the desired choice. I, um, particularly if it's free-range chicken thighs, it has vitamin K2, which is a special form of vitamin K that improves um, your angiogenesis, your blood vessel circulation defense systems. All right, over here, we have some tomato soup. Um, tomato soup, uh, tomatoes contain lycopene, and lycopene uh, is a fat-soluble bioactive that, uh, of course, I'm going to the Mediterranean, lots of great tomatoes there. Uh, lycopene um, lowers the risk of prostate cancer. Two to three servings of cooked tomatoes have been shown to be beneficial to lower the risk of prostate cancer in men. Now, how does it do this? When you swallow lycopene and eat a tomato, it gets absorbed in your bloodstream and it actually um, cuts off the blood supply, uh, feeding cancer cells, so it makes it harder for cancers to grow. What else does lycopene do? It actually gets absorbed in your body. And do you know what it does? It actually likes to dissolve in fat and so it'll get into fat and fight harmful body fat. Now, I'm not a big person, but even somebody my size can have harmful body fat called visceral fat, and lycopene helps to fight that. So I'm gonna actually uh, uh, enjoy that tomato soup. Now, take a look at this, all these servings, serving size. That's a lot of food for me, and I'm not that hungry, and I'm just gonna not eat it all. So what I always tell people is quit the clean plate club, eat only, um, what makes you feel satisfied. You don't have to be full. And um, that's it for me. I wanted to share with you a little bit about